Welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to create ruffles. Ruffle is probably the simplest way you can do to quickly change your garment silhouette and make it more interesting. Here is a dress I have created, and I am going to add ruffle panel to the bottom of the skirt. First, I need to know the total length of the hem to decide how much shirring I want for the ruffle. In this case, skirt hem is around 28 and half inches. Since it's a fitted style, I am just going to make a gentle gathered ruffle panel by doubling the length. Use rectangle tool to create a 56 by 5 inches panel. Once the panel is made, let's connect it to the skirt bodice. This time we are going to use free sewing tool instead of segment sewing. Free sewing tool allows you to connect one single line with multiple sections of lines. Click one point to start and click second to end the function, and the line will be selected. Then, hold shift, using one click to start, one click to end. Choose the lines you want to sew to the previous line you selected. For this dress, I have one front and two back hem lines. So the ruffle panel will start from center back and finish at center back. When you're using free sewing tool, it's important to make sure all the sewing lines are in the same direction. Once you click the the last point of the line, release shift. And the sewing will be completed. You can check your sewing lines in the 3D window to make sure nothing is twisted before you simulate. If you made a mistake, just undo the process and star over again. Next step. Place the panel on avatar using arrangement points. In most cases, you won't have problem placing pattern pieces using arrangement points. However, if you have a really wide pattern piece, it will end up wrapping around the avatar when you use arrangement points. This is going to cause collision when you simulate the garment. Let me increase the width of the ruffle panel to show you what will happen during simulation when it's overlapping too much on the avatar. There are few ways you can do to fix it in this situation. Let's use this ruffle panel as an example. If the panel just overlaps slightly on the avatar, you can select the pattern piece and go to property editor to open it up by increasing offset. By the way, did you notice that I did not sew the two ends of the ruffle panel yet? This is because if I can't use arrangement points to place the panel around the avatar, the sewing line may cause the collision during simulation. So, I will wait until I have attached the top part of the panel to the skirt, then close the ruffle ends. If your ruffle panel is super long, and the offset won't help. Use Gizmo in 3D window to move the panel as close as you can to the piece you are connecting with. Rotate the panel to make it kinda parallel to the floor. I found this way seem to cause less collisions, especially if you are adding ruffle to the hem on a long skirt. Make sure none of your pattern pieces is touching avatar. Click simulate and adjust the panel on avatar to make sure there's no more issues. If this way doesn't work, just split the panel and put half to the front skirt and half to the back skirt. To do so, use edit pattern tool. Hold shift and select two ends of the ruffle panel. Right click and choose distribute internal line between segment and enter one in the offsets and click OK. An internal line will be highlighted as yellow on the ruffle panel. Right click and choose cut and sew. You will get two even split panels. Use the gizmo to rotate and move one of the panels to the back of the avatar. Basically, you are placing the pattern piece manually in the 3D window. After you split the panel, original sewing lines will disappear. So use free sewing tool to connect front ruffle panel to the front skirt bodice and back ruffle to the two back skirt panels. 
Just want to mention one more thing on free sewing tool. Free sewing is not just to connect with multiple lines. You can use it to sew two individual lines together as well. Click simulate. You should be able to attach the panels to the bodice. If you are using woven fabric to make the ruffle, you can select the gathered line and turn on elastic function in the property editor and decrease the ratio. This will help to get a nicer shearing as well. For my dress, it's in knit fabric already, so it didn't make much difference with elastic on or off. And now we have the ruffle sewn onto the bodice, we can make it look nicer by turning on shearing. Select the gathered line from the ruffle panel using Edit Pattern Tool, and go to Property Editor. Turn on the shearing effect. This will add the shearing effect to your ruffle and make it more realistic looking. The ruffle looks kinda messy when your particle distance is set as 20mm. However, when you lower the particle distance and run the final simulation, you will get a nicer realistic looking result. Now, if you want to add another layer of ruffle on top of the one you just created. It's really simple. First, use Edit Pattern Tool, hold Shift and select all the hem lines. Right-click to choose Offset as internal line from the pop-up window. It will let you enter how far you want to add the internal line from the hem. I think 2 inches will look good, so once you enter just click OK and the internal lines will be created. Next, use Transform Pattern Tool to right-click on the ruffle piece in 2D window. Then choose Copy and Paste. It will duplicate the exact ruffle pattern piece in both 2D and 3D window. In the 3D window, because I already simulated the ruffle panel. So it will duplicate the after simulation appearance of the ruffle. As you can see, part of this ruffle went into the avatar, and this will be a problem for simulation. Use select slash move tool in 3D window to right click on the ruffle panel, Choose Reset to 2D Arrangement. It will return to the 2D appearance before simulation. Use the same way to sew the top layer ruffle to the internal lines. And there, I added two layer ruffles to the dress. If you prefer to have a flare out ruffle, after you create the rectangle pattern, choose Fullness, Lines, from 2D window toolbar. This tool will let you select two lines to add fullness. For my ruffle panel, I want to add the fullness horizontally. So I will click start and end point to choose a fullness line which in this case is the top line of the ruffle panel. Then do it again to select the slash line which will be the bottom line of the ruffle panel. A pop-up window will appear. In direction, you can choose you want to add the fullness on the start point or end point, or both. I would like to get an even fullness, so I will select both. For the fullness line, I will add 5 inches. For the slash lines, I will enter 15 inches. As you can see, the ruffle panel will slash open and turn into a rounded shape. Rotate and move the panel close to avatar in 3D window, and use free sewing tool to attach to skirt bodice then hit simulate and you will get a flare-out ruffle style. For this dress, I decided to add mesh ruffles around the armholes. First I would need to know the measurement of the armhole to decide the length of the rectangle panel. For armhole, I am making a 1.5 inches wide ruffle. This panel is going to be tricky to place it with arrangement point, so it's easier to do it manually. Rotate and move this panel to top of the shoulder seam and parallel to the armhole. 
Use free sewing tool to connect this panel with front and back armholes. And I would like the ruffle to start from nothing and end with nothing. This means I would have to get rid of two corners on the panel. Using smooth curve to click on the corner and drag to get a curve line. Then adjust it to the shape you like by using edit pattern tool. And also right click and select convert to curve points to remove unnecessary points. Click simulate and adjust the ruffle to make sure it fits right around the armhole on avatar. I am using mesh fabric for armhole ruffles. The shearing effect won't show much, so I am not going to use it here. Now I have one side of the ruffle simulated on the armhole. To create a symmetrical ruffle on the other side of armhole. Simply just right click on the already made ruffle panel either in 2D or 3D window. Select symmetry pattern with sewing. Clo will automatically generate the other side of ruffle panel with sewing and place on the avatar. Double check the sewing lines. Sometimes some sewing lines might not be duplicated. Use sewing tool to connect the missing sewing line then click simulate. And there. Now you know how to add ruffles to your design. I hope you find this video helpful. Please leave your comments to help me improve my video. Thank you for watching. And. Don't forget to click like and subscribe.